So I'm here with Richard. You're at uh, Make Block. That's right. Um, tell me, what what is Make Block? So uh, Make Block has been designed to take the the typical Scratch program in front of a PC to take it out into the real world and give students the opportunity to see what happens when you actually connect a program with real world products. So you use something that's sort of Scratch-like in the, in the software yep. and you can program the behaviours of these robots. That's right. Um, Make Block have kind of customised the, the Scratch environment and called it, and they name it M-Block. Yeah. It essentially has the same functionality but it has some extra features. So if you've started out with Scratch and you want to go into robotics, this would be a way to do that. Oh, absolutely. If you're familiar with Scratch, then uh, M-Block Block will be very familiar to you. And the, the actual robotic side of things is based on the Arduino platform. That's correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, MakeBlock is Arduino at heart certified, so it's yeah. recognized by Arduino themselves. Uh, MakeBlock has spent quite a lot of time as well working with um, directly with Arduino, but also it's become a big part of the community, uh, as, as you'll know. So it's open hardware in the bottom, and right. then there's uh, the kits that you provide. Sure. That you assemble yourself and you yeah. code them yourself. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, it's designed to be put together by students. So you're looking around 15 to 20 minutes for a build. It's the tools for the build are included in the box, so it's very easy to do. Um, students seem to find that very rewarding. And then obviously it's just one extra factor that take that reinforces the kind of yeah. real world applicability of the code. So, so one of these would take about 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, uh, what, this uh, this one specifically. This is yeah. a slightly larger version, yeah. so you're looking a little bit longer and. Uh, you know, maybe a slightly older student, whereas yeah. we'd recommend eight years and up for that one. Yeah. Maybe more like 12 years and up for this one. And quite recently you started exploring drones as well. Yes, yes. So walk me through, what's the thing with your... Well, this is, this is really new and really interesting for us. So this has uh, been funded on Kickstarter. Yeah. And the idea was that uh, for drones in an education environment, and then of course in a consumer environment, they're prone to damage the plastic, um, students will inevitably crash them, whereas this is very robust and rigid, um, but it won't do cause any damage to walls or flying internally. But the to make it different, it's actually a modular design. Yeah. So I can change what I'm doing here. Very different, but if I have a crash, I go to pieces, yeah. it stops the, stops the propellers spinning, it makes it safer, more secure. And what are your sort of target thoughts on sort of how to use the, the drone in comparison to the other sure. robotics? Well, in a similar way to the other products, we've got some sensors here. Yeah. The drone can be programmed in the M-Block environment. Yeah. So again, familiarity with Scratch would mean that you can actually uh, add an element of auto uh, autonomous behavior to the drone. So I could basically, through the sort of Scratch environment, I could code the drone to be at a certain high, you move could. in some distance and sensor its environment. Absolutely. And do things. Absolutely. So again, it builds on the same principles there. Yeah. But provides, uh, you know, uh, I guess as drones are so popular at the moment, yeah. it sort of just capitalises on that and allows people to do something different with a drone that they might not have done before. As yeah. the programming element does add a, a sort of new dimension to a lot of them. And since it's Arduino based, I guess that if you want to explore further from the sort of scratch context, sure. that would also be yeah possible to do. Uh, definitely. Um, one of my favorite features about uh, MakeBlock is that uh, where you have the scratch block coding on the screen, yeah. next to it you can have the Arduino code generated as well. So, so I would actually see the text-based code that's correct. in relationship to the locks. That's it. And uh, for the curriculum we know how important it is to start people with graphical but ultimately transition them to be able to code with text. Exactly. So this allows them to recognize syntax but without the, without the finicky details of it. So if yeah. you're missing a semicolon it won't work. You've always got the, the option of the blocks, you can reshuffle yeah. them, it will amend the code, and you're back and working. So you can dip into the code, try yeah. a few different things, but always with the security yeah. of having the familiar scratch environment so you control your product. Thank you, Richard, for walking us through the setup and the stuff you do. No problem, my pleasure. When, uh, when will it be possible to get a hand on the drone? Well, it, the pre order, it was incredibly popular, yeah. over $800,000 on Kickstarter. Yeah. So it's put a little bit of pressure on the production, <laughs> but Makeblock's a very established company and they're working through it very fast. So we think end of March, April for, for general resale. So we're looking forward to seeing that later on in the spring. Yeah, uh, it's going to be fantastic. I think we're going to really enjoy it. Thank you so nice much. To, nice to meet you.